guys, it is good to be back. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more gameplay. That's right, I am back. I know it's been a long time. If you missed our video uh, that went up hopefully earlier today, you probably saw that uh, it's been a busy few weeks. Uh, I kind of talked about that there. We do have a lot of stuff up and coming that I'm really excited about, including a Crimson Vow giveaway, which should be announced maybe next week. Uh, but I wanted to jump into some gameplay, some standard gameplay, and see what I've been missing over the last excuse me, Ooh, couple weeks. Uh, this is Mono Black. Uh, before we jump into that though, I do wanna say, if you're not already, please subscribe. It really would mean a lot and it is gonna enter you for the giveaway that we are going to do. Uh, as you guys know, we try and make it easy on you. So all you gotta do is really be subscribed to our channel or channels and that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy. So uh, let's talk about the deck guys. We got Mono Black. Uh, this is a highly controlling style deck, so there's a lot of removal in things like Soul Shatter and things like the Meat Hook Massacre. We've got uh, Blood on the Snow, a lot of sweepers, uh, a lot of ways to kind of deal with all the creatures at once and gain some extra value. The, the trick with Blood on the Snow and in particular the Meat Hook Massacre is that there's long-term value in it and that with the Meat Hook Massacre, you're getting a passive ability whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses a life, and then whenever an opponent's creature dies, you gain a life. So you're kind of just getting a passive ability that's hopefully going to help you kind of secure that win or give you another out to win. If you can throw a bunch of creatures out and then throw one of these down, you can really just end the game right there. Uh, Blood on the Snow, also very good. It helps us deal with creatures or planeswalkers, uh, but it also allows us to bring one back. We've obviously got some interesting stuff at the top end. Uh, we've got Loth Spider Queen. We've also got Professor Onyx. Even in the mid-range slot, we've got things like Eradicator Valkyrie. This is one of my own addition. I'm kind of testing this card out a little bit. Uh, we also have Draco Lith, uh, Lich, excuse me, which is just a great card. Uh, Siege War Witch, which is amazing in this list. Uh, and even at the bottom end, I mean, we do have things like Shambling Gas, uh, Shambling Gas, excuse me, as well as I Wish, which all help pull different things or ramp us. So we've got the Learn ability in here. We're going to hopefully get a lot of stuff out of that. Uh, Valky is in here. We do create some amount of treasure tokens with things like Skullport and Merchant. Uh, that's going to allow us to hopefully play the Tabalt side of this later on during the game, uh, as well as some of these like uh, Containment Breach, things like that. Uh, overall, this deck is very focused on just kind of controlling, getting some stuff out, blocking, kind of one for one trading in the early part of the game, uh, and then theoretically being able to take over if you can sweep or do something like that, really take over the game long term uh, and build up some amazing long term resources. So. We're going to give this a shot, guys. We're going to send it through a few games. We'll play for roughly 20, 30 minutes as we normally do. Uh, man, it's great to be back in the swing of things. Uh, and hopefully we'll have some fun and get a few wins. So let's jump right in. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. This isn't really that great a hand, if I'm honest. Uh, part of me kind of wants to throw this one back. We do need some amount of early game stuff. We do have the merchant, but that's really not great. Uh, we do have the lands, though. You know, I guess we try it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it may not be great. This is a very slow, dirtily hand in the beginning of the game. So hopefully we're not against anything too aggro-y, uh, but we'll see what we're up against here. Uh, all right, go ahead and throw the land out. We'll see what happens. Guys, it is good to be back. I know it has been a couple weeks since we've been able to do really anything. Um, and I know that that kind of sucks. It's it's terrible. It, I miss you guys, truthfully. When I don't do videos, I don't get to interact with you guys very often. And I hate that uh, because I really like being a, you know, throwing out content on a regular basis, that kind of stuff. And so it's really different to to not do that for a few weeks. Uh, it was kind of de-stressing. It was nice. I'm not going to lie, but it is really, really good to be back. Uh, and so I'm excited. I think it's going to be a really fun end of the year. Uh, at least that's the goal. I'm going to go ahead and just blow this thing up here before they have a chance to respond uh, I don't particularly want to see that hit. Um, and I'm actually going to pass. I do want to keep up that blood on the snow. Um, 
So I kind of want to leave this to, to play. If we draw a land off the top, we've got that available to us. Um, this is a really interesting is it deck, though. I've seen a lot of these. In fact, I've played some of these. The Smoldering Egg deck is very, very good. Fully expecting like a Goldspan Dragon at some point as well. Uh, let's go ahead and play the Merchant. Uh, that's going to give us another treasure token, which does get us to Blood on the Snow level, but it also gets us to Deadly Dispute here, which might actually be worthwhile playing. Uh, that's going to draw us into hopefully some more lands and give us another treasure token, so that's pretty helpful. There's the Goldspan Dragon. All right, cool. Uh, again, we fully expected this, not a problem. I mean, it's very good, don't get me wrong, but uh, we can get around that. We've got answers, it's fine. Uh, let's see what they do. If they want to target something, we can, we're we gonna just play the Deadly Dispute here. There's no reason not to. Uh, and then we can Blood on the Snow to bring something back and get rid of the Goldspan Dragon. We also could just potentially Meat Hook Massacre, but we'll see. <laughs> Opponent really considering some options here. We do also have the onboard way of, you know, sacrificing another creature and then just doing that. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and Deadly Dispute. Uh, this is going to fizzle the dragon's approach, or dragon fire, excuse me, uh, which is nice. All right. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, do we want to play this for four? Uh, yeah, I actually think we do. Uh, yes, I think we will. So this doesn't target, but this is obviously getting us that passive ability very quickly here. Uh, this also allows us to create an extra treasure token, gain a little bit of life, that kind of stuff. Now the question is, do we want to throw the Eye Witch out? I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, we've got the Draco Lich here that we can throw down at some point, uh, and the Eye Witch really works well with the Meat Hook Massacre, so I do kind of want to get that going, uh, and we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Uh... What is this the opponent played? Oh, cool. You know, funny enough, I've never seen this version of Hall of the Storm Giants on Arena. Uh, that's really interesting. That's really cool. All right. Uh, curious to see what the opponent might have here. Nice that we can flash out the Draco Lich if need be. Uh, that works really, really well. In tandem with some of the removal that we have in this deck, it's really nice to be able to leave up mana and then just kind of see what happens. Now, obviously, this is a very... Uh, control -y deck in certain aspects, but you do play a lot at sorcery speed, so it's kind of interesting to see how that goes. Um, Alright, well, let's attack first. I'm gonna go ahead and play out Lolf, uh, Spider Queen. Chances are they've got a negate. Yep. And that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, I don't love it, obviously, but uh, we're not, you know, just gonna die because of that. And this is going to be pretty awesome, because what we can do is just blood on the snow to get uh, something back here. We'll see. We will see. I guess we can just get... That's really helpful. Uh, we drew the land. That was very good. Okay. Uh, we'll destroy all creatures. Hopefully they don't have another negate. Little worried. They might have a negate. Counter target spell. Okay. They had Dissipate instead. Fair enough. Uh, we will hold on to this Eye Witch as a blocker then. We'll see what happens. Uh, Goldspan Dragon, very, very difficult sometimes to deal with. So in particular with this Izzet deck, just because they do have so many little counters and burn spells and things like that. That's okay. I'm kind of surprised they're playing the Expressive Iteration on this turn uh they've already played their land for the turn so a land is not really a great hit for them essentially this is just replacing itself uh which doesn't seem necessarily ideal i would have potentially waited on that but that's just my view all right uh we're definitely just going to block here maybe they were looking for something to play off this treasure token but that doesn't seem great i'll be honest um, this allows us to learn here, though, which is quite helpful. Uh, the question is, what do we need to get? Uh, let's see, let's see. I mean, it could just be a mascot exhibition. Uh, we do need a land to get that going. Um, 
alternatively, we really don't have that much else. So yeah, I guess we just take the exhibition. Again, not amazing by any means, but uh, it's something. We'll play the Eye Witch here. Again, we can flash out the Draco Lich, so we don't actually have to just run that right now. I'm assuming they've gotten all runs Epiphany. Um, or a counter spell, we'll see. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this out while they don't have as much available mana. Uh, and we'll see what they do. We'll obviously just block one of these, get something out here. It might just be that we shoot for the ramp spell. It's not great. Uh, alternatively, I guess we could go for the removal spell. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it's probably just Necrotic Fumes. It's not a great option here because Goldspan Dragon just gets... Yeah, there's the Alron's Epiphany. Yep. Uh, and that's game. So, unfortunately, they got us there, guys. Not much we can do about that one, but... Let's go ahead, let's jump into another game. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and, I mean, this isn't amazing, but we do have the Deadly Dispute plus Shambling Ghast. I feel like we can try and work off of the back of that. We also just drew another land, which is helpful. We obviously do have some big spells that we are gonna try and get to here. Uh, potentially against Mono Green, it looks to be the case, at least. Uh, gonna be interesting. So let's pass here. Uh, what this allows us to do is block, then Deadly Dispute, which is going to hopefully get us where we need to be. Uh, sure. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's do this. Let's then go ahead and do this. Uh, we can actually double ramp here, so we actually get two treasure tokens out of this, which is kind of nice, and two cards. Uh, that's a pretty solid turn, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Uh, let's do this. We'll play Eye Witch. We'll play that Shambling Ghast, and not an amazing turn by any means, but it's setting us up really nicely for a Blood on the Snow uh, a little bit early, which is going to hopefully do some ma massive, massive damage to this, uh, this board here. All we really need to do is survive a little bit longer, and we're good. So, maybe. We'll see. We will see. All right, cool. Uh, they do draw a card here, which isn't great, but that's fine. Um, really, it doesn't matter how we decide to do this here, so let's just do this. Um, we'll create a treasure token, and let's pull, what do we want to pull here? Um, you know, weirdly, it might just be pest summoning. Kind of unexciting, I know, but let's do this. Let's see what's in our graveyard here. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, destroy all creatures. We're going to have to do it this turn, so let's clear the board. Get all that out of there. Um, and I think we're, we'll pull the Eye Witch here. This gives us an extra card, essentially, when it dies, uh, which is just really nice for us because it's going to allow us to pull, you know, whatever we need out. Um... We'll do this. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do this. Uh, and we will make them sacrifice Kessig Naturalist here. And we will attack in. Um, now this is a bit risky. They could have the Haste Werewolf, uh, which is like fine. We've got blood on the snow. Okay, there we go. I'm glad we did it then. That works perfectly fine by me. Uh, let's do this. We'll go ahead and pull one of these. Um, perfect. Uh, and then we actually just can throw out this pest summoning. So now we're very much in the leader. Uh, we're in the leading position. The trick is their creatures are always going to be stronger than ours uh, for the most part. Um, and so our goal is just going to be, you know, let's let's push this as far as we can. So, um. Hmm. How do we want to do this? 
Let's do this first. Uh, We'll attack with these two. If they want to blow up the Faceless Haven here uh, with this, that's fine. Um, because they are in a position where they kind of have to keep trading stuff off here and we don't necessarily. Now, one thing to note, we don't want to use this treasure token at this point. We do have to bolt and things like that in the deck, and so I kind of want to make sure we're we're leaving up at least one treasure token that we can pull out whatever we need to there. Um, we can also get the uh, removal spell for enchantments as we need to, so that would be very helpful. Uh, let's activate this. Um, we'll attack with these two once again. Uh, they're not gonna block. Perfect. We'll just play another Eye Witch and pass. Easy enough. Uh, luckily, I mean, we're in a position where they, they need something pretty big here, and it looks like they didn't have it, guys. We got our first win back after the wedding. I love it. Uh, let's jump into a third game right now. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Uh, now, this does have Eye Witch. I think we can keep it on the back of that. It's not a ton, but if we get a third land, we've got the Witches here, so we're actually in okay shape. Uh, and we've got a nice five and six as well. So really, we're just lacking in a bit of land. Um, obviously, some removal spells would be pretty fantastic as well, but we'll see what we get. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's attack in first. And then we'll just go ahead and play out the Shambling Ghast. Shambling Ghast is great as well. It helps ramp us if it dies. So the great thing about this deck is all the, the death triggers are so beneficial for us that it kind of, like... A lot of the stuff that happens kind of doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and and offer the trade. It looks like they're not going to take it. I'm sure they want to get to their uh, fourth mana pretty quickly here, but we will see. Uh, the Siege War Witch is quite good here, and again, any land is going to get us to Loth, uh, or closer to it, I should say. If we can get that Shambling Ghast gone then we do have it, so that would be kind of nice. Um, but we'll see. There it is. Yasharn. What a card. Uh, yeah, this is a very, very good card. Um, okay, good to know. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's do this and this. This does have Menace, so they cannot block it. Uh, and again, I think we're just going to play this, this other Witch out here. I mean, we're we're kind of outpacing them at this point, uh, which is really, really nice. If they want to attack with Yasharn, that's fine. I will definitely block uh, and get that extra. Okay, they didn't want to do it. Fine by me. Uh... I think we keep the pressure on. It's okay if they want to double block here. We're just kind of keeping them from going too crazy with extra tokens and that kind of stuff. So kind of okay with that there. Um, we'll just pass the turn. Uh, we do now have Loth next turn, so that's helpful. Um, and this just spits out a bunch of stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, and we'll see how we can do. The The Professor Onyx would truthfully be really nice to be able to get down, but I doubt it's going to happen this turn. If they do attack with Yasharn, that's fine. We'll block, but I don't think that's going to be their goal. Uh, that's my guess. We shall prevent one of that damage. Ah, okay. Great card. <clears throat> Very annoying card against us, to be honest. Um, interesting. <laughs> uh... Okay, well, we're just going to do this. Um, and I'm going to spit out a couple of these little tokens. This doesn't really do anything. Um, I think we just say no attacks then. The trick is this prevents... Um, would deal damage to you or a permanent you control. P prevent one of that damage. So that prevents these from dealing damage, essentially. And this only deals two. Um, it's a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is. This is such a good card. Storm the Festival, really, really solid. Uh, I did play a deck before I left that ran it, but we really didn't actually get to see it happen. Um, it's interesting that they were able to value up the lands so heavily. That was really cool. 
Uh, they may try and kill Walth here. No. Interesting. Okay. Let's draw a card and lose a life. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Um, okay. Let's do this. We're going to learn. Let's get... Oh, that would be quite helpful. Um, no, I think we actually need to get this, though. We can't play the removal spell there at this point, so, like, it's helpful, but it's not really that helpful at the moment. Let's then do this, um, and we pass. So next turn, what we can do is Blood on the Snow to blow up everything if we need to. Um, that's going to put a heck of a lot of counters on the Spider Queen, uh, and get rid of their board, which is obviously quite good, so. Oh, what are they gonna exile? I feel like there's not, this actually isn't that bad for us. I mean, they take a token, I guess, sure. So then we can't get that back. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, but they don't have great attacks at this point, I'll be honest. Um, They can buff up everything. Yeah, there we go, now we're talking. Uh, but none of this really matters, to be honest. We're just gonna blow everything up. <laughs> wow, okay. These all just have Vigilance, is that correct? Cool. Do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. All too happy to block all of this. Doesn't matter to me at all. So we're gonna fill up our hand a little bit here and get some treasure tokens. Uh, let's just create one, two. We're gonna get tons of counters on Lolf, <laughs> uh, which is great. And now we can actually just pull this, which is gonna blow up something here. All right, another land, lovely. Um, I mean, it's definitely just to play Blood on the Snow, right? Like, <laughs> there's no doubt. Um, cool. And then destroy everything. <laughs> um, seems pretty good. We get this. We're going to get a bunch of counters here. Uh, okay, cool. I think we'll go ahead and blow up... The Felidar Retreat. This is kind of the problem card in my view. Um, while this is annoying, and this is also quite annoying. Oh, did it? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Destroy target artifact or enchantment if its value is two or less. Create a... What did I... Did I target the wrong thing? I, I might have messed up there. My apologies. Anyway. Uh... That was interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I can't help it. Uh, the trick is now, though, we can just drop Professor Onyx, blow this up, uh, and then get in for an attack. Raise power among creatures that player controls. Okay. Okay, they're going to crew it and get a copy. Uh, sure. I'll block. Drawing an extra card here is pretty useful. Um, this also actually gets us a little further, but... The trick here is this cannot be blocked by them, because they don't have enough creatures to do it. Uh, unless they play an extra creature here, which is fine, but not gonna, like, solve the problem. Okay. They are gonna get another creature, fair enough. Let's do this. Let's drop Onyx. Let's do this. I don't know that this is 100% correct, but we're going to do it. Um, so they can choose which one of those. That's kind of the trick there. Let's draw a card and lose the life. We do have removal spells in the deck, so like there's a possibility we could have just won off of that. Um, we didn't, unfortunately, but it is what it is. 
And I guess we just can't attack. Unfortunately. I think we might be in a losing position here. Um, we were doing really, really well, and we really only have to get through a couple extra points of damage. Maybe it was correct to have attacked here, actually. That was a mistake. Um, combat damage, okay. So they're down to three. So they can take out both of our planeswalkers here. Um, which they certainly should, but we do have the Hive. So they kind of have to make a decision, is that the right play or not? If they, uh, they do have this, the Cave of the Frost Dragon. Man, this is a tricky game. It's kind of a tricky one. Um, I mean, they're playing it quite well. I think we could have potentially gotten them last turn, uh, which was just a mistake on my end. But... It is what it is. They got a land off of that. Okay. So they're going to get a 2-2. Two, two. All right. So. We do this. Oh, that's why. Oh, my gosh. Duh. That was really stupid. Of course, that's why it didn't work. I forgot that that uh, prevents certain things like that from actually working, but that's fine. All right. They get another land here, which is kind of problematic, but it is what it is. All right. I mean, we can do this, but it doesn't really matter. They just get to, I guess we can choose which one to kill. So we definitely attack them. We exile that from their graveyard so they can't flash it back. That's actually very relevant. Um, so we get to kill the Brutal Cathar. Uh, or I guess... Yeah, we get to kill the Brutal Cathar. Get our witch back. Definitely kill that first. What an interesting game. Oh, we don't kill it. Oh, gosh. This stupid thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I keep forgetting about it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. So I think we're just going to die. That's my guess. I mean, there's not much we can do at this point, right? Like, they just kind of have it. They've got another Storm the Festival. Yeah, I'm going to good game them here, guys. Unfortunately, I think they got it, and we are coming up on 30 minutes, so let's chat about this list. All right, guys, so mono black control-esque, kind of mid-range control. It's a little bit of an odd one. Um, I like this list. I do like a lot of the plays that this deck has because you're playing a bunch of really cheap stuff that gives you so much value, and in fact, we did see where, like, Blowing up those Shambling Gas essentially ramps us into five, six mana. Granted, it's only for a turn, but it gets us there pretty quickly and allows us to kind of handle whatever threats come our way. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't draw anything all that exciting uh, in that last game. I think maybe we could have played slightly differently. We definitely messed up destroying the artifact. That was a mistake. Uh, I I completely neglected to, to uh, remember that little piece of the uh, sphere there, but that's okay. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we're getting back into it. So anyway, guys, it's great to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please, again, make sure to leave a like if you did. Uh, we are going to be jumping into some more gameplay, but something else that I wanted to reiterate that I did talk about in the other video that went out today if you guys have suggestions for other kinds of content, not just gameplay content that you would like to see, or maybe it is just different gameplay, that is totally fine. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have uh, to, or, or would enjoy watching. Uh, I do have a couple of ideas in my head as well that I want to try out towards the end of this year, so we'll see how it goes. But regardless, guys, I can't say thank you enough. It's great to be back. Uh, thank you to everybody who gave me a congratulations on the wedding. It is great to be married. I am a very very lucky guy uh, and I'm very happy to be here with you guys so thank you guys so much I love you all have a fantastic day we'll be back for some more gameplay videos very soon